Eight, you're accused of a hate crime facing a judge today in the brutal beating of Steve Utash, that boy just 16 years old. Seven Action News reporter Tara Edwards is live in Detroit tonight. Now, Tara, there was a bit of a surprise at the courtroom today. That's right, Jeff. A preliminary trial was supposed to take place today to see if the case would go to trial, but instead, the defense attorney asked that the case go straight to trial. With no emotion on his face, the juvenile sat in a courtroom near his parents as his attorney asked the judge to go straight to trial. It's not clear why the move was made, but Solomon Radner, the defense attorney, said he hopes to work out a deal with the prosecutor's office. The suspect, who turned 17 in a month, is now charged with assault with intent to do great bodily harm and ethnic intimidation. According to prosecutors, the teen was the instigator in the mob attack that left Steve Utash brutally beaten. What happened here, as a was a spur of the moment type of incident. Redner argues because it was spur of the moment, he does not believe the juvenile was committing a hate crime. It's hard to say what's classified as a hate crime. Uh, obviously, different people would classify different things as a hate crime, but in my mind, when I hear the term hate crime, I'm envisioning people getting lynched and strung up on a tree because they're black. I'm envisioning swastikas being painted on synagogues. That's typically what I envision when I hear a hate crime. While the prosecution says they have enough evidence to believe the teen's alleged actions do fit the crime, no evidence came out in court today. Now that both sides prepare for trial, Radner would not talk too much about the case, but alluded the teen had some remorse for what happened. Obviously, um, when something like this happens, everybody uh, starts to think things over, and obviously there's uh, sorry feelings for uh, ultimately what happened. And Radner tried to get the bond reduced. Right now, it's $400,000 cash that was denied. The teen's trial will begin on June 23rd and go through to the 25th. Live in Detroit, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. Okay, Tara, thank you. Now we have more on this story. The outpouring of support for Steve Utash has raised a lot of money for his medical bills. Over the last two weeks, nearly 4,500 people have donated more than $179,000 to his fund.